<laughs> Stop, look and watch. It's Crazy Josh. So my name is Joshua Cravey and I'm doing a presentation on Steve Jobs. Uh, from inventing the Apple One to the iPad, Steve Jobs was pretty much the best person, the uh, best thing to ever happen since Jesus. Uh, when Steve Jobs and his friends invented uh, the first computer, they didn't have enough money for the fancy stuff, so they made them work with everyday tape recorders and TV screens for displays. Uh, Steve Jobs, who is known as the father of the digital revolution and his company Apple, invented a lot of technology that we use every day, like computers, smartphones, iPads, or iPods. Uh, I think Steve Jobs is one of the greatest people in history because he created an Apple company that has so many tech products that we use or influenced what we use on a daily basis. Uh, I've used Apple iMovie, which is an Apple application, to create and edit videos for myself and others. Um, I've researched Steve Jobs on the internet using Apple stuff. And he is famous for his inventions, Apple products. His work with Pixar Studios for being a stockholder for Disney. Uh, first, I'll discuss his parents in early life. Second, I'll discuss his dis uh, work with Disney and Pixar. Finally, I'll talk about his Apple products and his untimely death. His parents. Uh, Steve Jobs' parents met at the University of Wisconsin. His father, Ab, the default. Peppa, John, and taught there. His mother, Joanne Carol Schnabel, was a student. They were the same age because Jan the other guy had got his PhD really young. <clears throat> Steve's father, father had to put him up for adoption because his girlfriend's family objected to their relationship. In, in December 1955, ten months after giving up Steve, Schnabel and Jedediah married. It's early late. Um, Steve Jobs was adopted, or Steve was adopted at birth by Paul Reinhold Jobs and Clara Jobs. Steve didn't know until much later that he was adopted, and even though his parents hadn't gone to college when they adopted him, he went to college. Uh, Pixar and Disney. In 1986, Steve Jobs buys the computer graphics division from Lucasfilms and created the company Pixar. The first animated short was Luxo Jr., which was about the lamp. Yeah. And at the intro to all of their movies, the I and the word Pixar is repa replaced by a lamp. I don't know if it's They've changed the intro to the actions of the lamp for a lot of their movies. Um, in 1991, Disney and Pixar teamed up to make a full-length movie. It comes out in 1995, Toy Story. Uh, Steve Jobs thought about selling Pixar a few times because it was always losing money. Because then he didn't. Because in 2006, Disney purchased Pixar for $7.4 billion on the stock, obviously. And since Steve Jobs had 50.1% 50, 50 of Pixar's stock, he was now the major stockholder of Disney at 7% and was now part of their board of directors. Rewinding a little to the, uh, is the sound up? Yeah. Rewinding a little bit to Pixar and Disney, the um, first animated short, Luxo Jr. was about two lamps, and at the intro of all their movies, the I and the word Pixar is replaced by a lamp. Steve Jobs and 
and Ronald Wayne Knight found an Apple computer in the garage of Jobs' parents. Um, in 1983, Steve Jobs lured John Scully away from the Pepsi Cola service to uh, as Apple's CEO. He asked them, do you want to sell sugar water the rest of your life, or do you want to come with me and change the world? Uh, in 1985, Steve Jobs loved Apple, and he came back in 1996 when Apple was nearing bankruptcy. Um, by 1998, the company was profitable. All right, the Apple products. Uh, Steve Jobs oversaw the production of the most successful Apple products. Uh, there was the iMac, the basic Apple computer, iTunes, the digital media player, the iPod, a uh, pocket-sized touchscreen computer, and I found essentially an iPod but thicker with a phone app. But of course, now you can just buy an iPod and download the phone app. So, and then iPad, pretty much the future of computers, even more mobile than a laptop, which is Mac for Apple. Um, that, sadly, next I'll talk about Steve's death. Um, 2003, uh, 2003, Steve Jobs was diagnosed with cancer in his pancreas, whatever that is. Uh, 2004 <laughs> to 2011, he had, he was off and on, sick all the time. Um, and then Steve Jobs died from respiratory attack, uh, arrest connected to a tumor in his pancreas. He died on October 5th, 2011. This is an actual quote from the Apple website. Uh, over a million people from all over the world have shared their memories, thoughts, and feelings about Steve. Oh, one thing they all have in common, from personal friends to colleagues to owners of Apple products, is now they've been touched by passion and creativity. Uh, all right, um, conclusion, review. Uh, today I introduced Steve Jobs, his parents, biological and adoptive. And I discussed his early life and inventions. Finally, I talked about his Apple products in depth. Um, I agree to the fact that Steve Jobs is the father of the digital revolution because a lot of his technology and inventions are used by millions of people daily. Uh, I wish I had a chance to shake his hand and say thank you for inventing pretty much the best thing to ever happen to mankind, ever. Uh, based on the information I've read, he's one of the few people in history to revolutionize the world. And uh, one interesting fact is that the character of Mona Simpson of The Simpsons was named after Steve's biological sister, Mona Simpson. Thank you. But she decided that she didn't like to do that, so she switched into jumpers, which was unusual because a lot of people usually switch into jumpers once they're 18.